Hi right, guys, we're back with I had to walk all the way back because I had the wrong remote. So it would have been another placebo effect video, but I'm going to tell you that is going to happen to you. And I will tell you, your response after that happens should be not be, I knew something wasn't right. I didn't even know it was off. You know, that's how you know you're getting somewhere. Um, but you still want to have it all the time. You just, you know, yeah. Anything that's going to improve. If continuing to use the collar is going to continue to improve your handling skills, you want to continue to use it. Anyway, I'm just training out here today. So, um, this dog has got, if you said, well, what, what do you need to get the trained retrieve? I don't even know. <laughs> no, I don't. You know, whether it's, if it's a shaped retrieve, there, I guess there's no command to pick it up. Or it's not a commanded behavior. That's what it is. It's not a commanded behavior. Sit. So I've been using, just using sit, even though the dog doesn't necessarily sit. I know that sounds crazy, but it will default to it on its own. Yay. Yay. So I think in order to have the trained retreat, you have to be able to, I guess, would it be, you'd have to be able to send it for a dead object. Would that be what it is? I have to ask Mark. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever you say, lady. All right, so I'm just using, I have not made him be stationary on this platform. But I just want to help him understand that's what I want. And I like this configuration because I'm going to use that for my little runway. To get him to go back. I mean... I, I think platform training will continue because it's easy and fun. That's why you should be doing platform work. Place work is tedious and exhausting, and nobody likes it. Am I wrong, Mike? I used to do it too. It didn't work for me either. It was awful. You could get him doing it, but it took forever. He still didn't want to do it. All right, so what I need to do is get rid of Psycho Bottom. Debbie's like, Psycho Bottom? I mean Shoe Bottom. All right, hang on. She can be fooled, and if you, and I was wrong about saying you shouldn't have rituals about the food. Oh, there's another rabbit in the backyard. Uh, now watch later today. It'll be oh no, fat eek. Um, you shouldn't have rituals when you're feeding their food, but I want you to write this down, Mike. There does need to be rituals involving food. You shouldn't do rituals when you feed them, but there should be rituals involving food. Because if you said, how do you control shoe bottom with ritualistic behavior with the food? So by having a ritual of putting the food in the crate. See, there's a fall for it every time. I've never seen anything like it. I just drove him back up there with the low nick. But I'm not going to say he wasn't falling for the ritual, too. Oh, did you see how she fell for it, though? That's what just kills me. And then she doesn't figure out till later that she doesn't want to be in there. That's coming soon, though. All right, so I've got my little footstool. It's not the same as my other one, but still, it's a prop. I'll get him off this way. All right, here we go. Casper. I do like that foot. So I think that was making him jump yesterday. Now it's really making him do it. All right, so to get him back up there, I can use the dog and training. Dog and training. Hey. Sit. I don't really expect, I, I know it's hard to understand, but I don't expect the dog to sit. I'm just using it as a precursor because he is going to do it. Watch. So if you said, well, the distance between the command and the yay was about four, four minutes. I know, it seemed like it, but that's, it's just, 
It, people place too much importance on set. I don't place any. All right, so, uh-oh, uh-oh. So that was my knit, but he's not, let me tighten my collar up. He really isn't that sensitive. Casper. Yay! <laughs> Maybe that's the way to get the leap, Mike. Just put the footstool right there. Dog and training. Yay. Yay! Yay! Sit. I think you could add the set before, after, whenever. I understand their words just aren't that important. All right, so I can do it by making him be stationary and then sending him away. And I do kind of feel bad for being mean to Justin, but I do go out of my way for people. I understand that now. I, I don't mind going out of my way for people, but I don't, I don't even know. I mean, if he would have come to me and said, I want to be, start training dogs now and stuff, I mean, how can I get better? Not, oh, here's a train to retrieve, lady. Here, I'll throw that together real quick. It wasn't even close. But it did help me understand that that's what people see. They see a complete exercise. They don't see any subtasks. And so then they try to just duplicate the whole exercise. Am I wrong, Mike, if you're there? Give me a thumbs up because I understand that now. That's why nobody can do a recall or every anything else. They're seeing a video of a recall in a dog show, and then they're trying to duplicate that behavior. Not noticing that, you know, if, if they themselves were in this actual dog show, they'd be getting last place. All right, so, uh-oh, uh-oh. So that dude, I, he felt that nick right there. If you said, where was he going? Oh, I'll tell you where he's going. There's a little loomer over there. Uh huh. There's a little loomer trying to sneak out here. She's, she's. If she sees, she knew shoe bottom was in the cage. She would come out here. All right. So this is what I want to do. And I didn't really say anything. And if you said, well, then what is it? In a way, it is kind of an environmental correction if you don't say anything. Sit. I am going to say something right there though. I do. I mean, you've got to think of the trained retrieve involving a dead object. And if, if you said how dead, well, various levels of dead. Sit. Ah. And he wasn't, he made the mistake of trying to leave, but I did add my nick, and I was on 44, but I understand where he made the mistake because that was the exit before, but there is no foot still there, and I didn't do the pager, so. All right, so now what I want to do is turn the dog around, and I'm not releasing it to go with a flippant hand signal. You're, honestly, if you're good, you're probably like this. The dog is on the inner concentric circle. Oh, Jenga dog. I love the Jenga dog. Oh, how I love the Jenga dog. There was never a better dog than the Jenga dog. All right, but now I want to go back to my stationery. Sit. Casper. You don't correct that. Yay. Sit. My jaw, I should have moved this way. Okay, good. So you can see where... Hi, Sabari. How's all the Great Danes doing? I'm going to post some Great Dane videos. I've actually had several of them. They do good. You just have to know how to steer them because they're so large. All right, I really like that drill, so let's just do it one more time. And I'll tell you what I like about it, Mike. The, you know, the specific... You're, you are though he did go around. You could do it. You could put rails on the side to ensure you got the right trajectory off the platform. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that he knows. Sit. Casper. Yay. Yay. I 
I'm going to turn them around one time. And if you said, what is it? It's making it more dead. The longer it sits there, the, lo the more dead it is. So if you, just set, if you just set something down, I stopped him from getting off there. If you just set something down, it's not that dead. It's still warm. But the longer it sits there, the colder it gets. All right, so I want to send them. Jenga dog. I love the Jenga dog. Just such an efficient retriever. Sit. If you said, where could you go from there? He's probably ready to start doing a little bit of directional. Let me see if I can do that one time. I'll just do it with me. Sit. And part of the reason it's dead is because you're not throwing it. It doesn't have any movement. He's absolutely precious. He would be hard to do. Uh, all right, hang on. Let me see if I can get him. All right, so I put that other one over there. I'm just going to see if I can send him to that one. He's got to see it first. <laughs> but I think it is a trained retreat by virtue of the fact you're sending the dog. Other byproduct of the platform, if you said part of the train to retrieve, sit. So I just I just made it happen a little faster. If you said part of the train to retrieve was the holding and healing, you can get it pretty fast with this, is the reality. Let me show you how. So there's your holding heel. You know, I think you're just kind of running along that same pattern in the beginning and you're just adding I'm only I'm only marrying the two behaviors together I'm not trying to garner it as a single behavior that's where people are going wrong All right. and you can see shoe bottom fell for the ritualistic going in the cage. I'm going to make sure and get him off of there. Off there with the pager. Yeah, I know. She fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. So I don't know if we wrote that down before, Mike, but in dogs with low food drive, I'll tell you, do as much prep as possible. I remember that one pit bull Chelsea had. This thing wouldn't eat anything. These people had made it wait for its food to the point it said, screw you, I don't want your food. So it had no food drive. Finally got it eating canned cat food off a spoon. That's how bad this thing was. Um, 
and but what I would have her do would be massive ritualistic behavior leading up to that getting in the cabinet getting in the fridge preparing the food and if you said why oh they've seen that before they've seen that one before so you do want ritualistic behavior just not when you're feeding them their food if you're trying to build food drive well you better about have about 900 rituals that you're coming up with you know sort of like when you're at the restaurant and you're smelling the food you're seeing the other people get their food you know it's the whole build up in fact i'm going to norwoods tomorrow with lindsay and the baby we're taking the baby to norwoods the baby's bringing this on lunch though they don't really have baby food at norwoods all right so this is a dog that will find things by default so what i'm gonna do is drop this phone not this phone my fake phone on the ground where he doesn't see it all right so i gotta make sure he's not looking back Anyway, so she said, what are you doing now? Now I'm concentrating on the outer concentric circle. Everything I just did on the platform, that was all in the inner circle. With the dog going out two or three clicks to the do the retrieving and stuff. And I think the concentric circles are good for that too, Mike. You know, that you're starting, you know, that if you're running into a problem, say you're sending a dog away and then the handler goes too far away. You don't sit there and hit the dog with constant and try to for, because what you're doing is marking that place on the concentric circle. Am I wrong at that place that happened? The dog is saying to itself, I need to either go farther away or come in. The way they're getting these Velcro dogs is the dog is getting to this concentric circle and the only option is going back this way. All right, so we'll go back and we'll just kind of see if he finds this phone on his own. Now, I haven't done this with him in a while. He just naturally likes to find things anyway, though. And I can spin him. Casper! <laughs> he said that wasn't spinning. What was it? He's got a real nice, tight turn. You know, and what if you have to understand this is purpose driven behavior. There's a very specific ending to the exercise. Not come here, buddy. Let me tossle your ears. So painful. All right, I'm just going to get in the vicinity of the phone and see. Oh, shoe bottom. She's run off. Just get in the vicinity of the phone and see if he smells it on his own. Yeah, I think he got a whiff of it. Mm hmm. Oh, shoe bottom saw it. O M G. And she's gonna look at me. She's gonna pick it up. Watch. And she's not gonna let him get it now. Oh, he's trying. He's gonna try to move on it. All I gotta do is nod my head. Thank you, shoe bottom. <laughs> Only reason I say that because she's deaf. He really shouldn't say thank you. And so what his plan was, I'll default to a down since I can't get it. That, that was interesting, though. She saw it. And I'm, I'm not sure how. You know, unless that inner part looked light. But you can't say that that isn't a scary level of consciousness. For all that dog knows, I've accidentally dropped that. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. I hope you saw that, Mike. I mean, it's very, very hard to deny the level of consciousness. She saw that. She knew what it was. I knew she was going to look at me. Look at her. Oh, she's awful. Why she go and look at her? Any butterfly? Any butterfly. If you said, how do you get her back? Oh, watch her. Watch her. All I got to do is disappear around the corner. You're gonna see shoe bottom in a minute. My job is to get as far away as possible. Far, far away. And I do think the... She's over there looking around. 
she was coming to me, but then she saw a butterfly <laughs> and she changed her plans. <laughs> That was an intellectual process, though. That dog saw that there, saw me there. I don't know, that's crazy. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Hello, Linnea. I think you should just train your two worst ones and let the other ones be like the shoe bottom that, that only do it because they're jealous. <laughs> they, their, their behavior is acted out of jealousy of the other dogs. <laughs> it's a very effective tactic. Oh, you're heading back home. Okay, girl. I'm glad you've got the show to watch. I'm sure it gives you some familiarity and comfort. No matter where in the world you are, you can tune into the little pond. Yeah, maybe that's what I should call it. The little pond by the sea. Oh, look what we got. I got a dog with Casper. Let's see this come big and fast. And I can ask for a default down from this dog. And if you said, why do you do that? Uh, because it's a child's pet, that's why. Because when it's in that concentric circle in, w with a stationary handler, it, it's better to install that down as a default because, all right, that phone is around here somewhere. Shoe bottom keeps an eye on me. Okay, it's right there. He's gonna run right on top of it if he's not careful. And the wind, I can tell you, the wind is blowing towards us. If I get about right here, he's probably gonna smell it. Mm-hmm. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, Linnea, this is what you need. Let's just try to get one of them fetching. And to try to get all of them doing it. Let's go through the pack and figure out which one of these has the most talent. And we'll do some kind of vocational testing. Whichever one has the most talent can be trained to, to retrieve lost objects. Because I lost the little screw that holds the camera on the, the, the grip thing. And Casper found it. It was out here in the grass. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find it. And Casper found it. Unfortunately, it had been run over the lawnmower and wasn't any good anymore. But still. So that's his default behavior. Rather than um, the default behavior being jumping at the handler to get their attention. Oh, I'm awful. Oh, Tony, look at her. She's absolutely awful. But see, she thinks she's controlling me. She'll glance at me. She thinks to herself. And if she sees me leaving, that's how I control her. I'm using mind control on her. She doesn't know it. This is your only option with a lot of dogs. You know this, Tony. Trying to make them do what you want. That's really not a feasible option with a lot of them. <laughs> it's not going to work with a huge majority of them. Especially shoe bottom. Oh, anyway, Tony, I found Debbie Libby on Facebook. She was on my old account, so I haven't heard from her lately. So I think it was good. I went Facebook jail. I found some of my old friends on my old account and got them over to my new account. And I told Debbie, I go, oh, you need a white boxer. And she goes, I do. My grandma had one. And then I laughed and laughed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I accidentally, really did accidentally drop that. Yay. I was trying to put it in my pocket. Anyway, let's see what's going on. I got some new Miss Me jeans. Everyone's like, who cares? Linnea's like, I love Miss Me jeans. I have a sickness, Linnea. I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of pairs of jeans. But if I see a pair that I don't already have, that has a particularly cute sparkles on it, I have to buy it. <laughs> it's got to have the sparkles. Just like these have the little sparkles. <laughs> That's all I have to see. That's how they're controlling me. We'll put something sparkly on it. Women can't resist that. Anyway, so now I've got a dog that's defaulted to going back on the platform, so that tells me a lot. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. i got to go get my, uh, i got to put a little bit more charge on this thing. It went so dead yesterday that I had to charge it for like 20 minutes just to get it to even turn on. 
Now please let me know when the new iPhone 8 comes out. I'm getting it immediately.